And now, as many of you know, this is my final broadcast on the evening news. It's been an extraordinary privilege to sit in this chair and a real honor to work with so many talented people here at CBS News. We thought we'd take a look back at some of the history-making people and events we've covered. So here now, five years in five minutes. When you look back on the last five years, is there anything that you wish you had done differently? Yeah, I mean, I wish, for example, Abu Ghraib didn't happen. I care deeply about stem cell research. Either he didn't take his medication or he's acting one of the two. I could give a damn about Rush Limbaugh's pity. I'm not a victim. Since Sunday, the Southern California wildfires have burned nearly 400 square miles, an area larger than New York City. For the record, have you ever used steroids, human growth hormone, or any other performance-enhancing substance? No. The gunman came to our class, shot the person that was sitting next to me. What did you hear? At first it sounded like hammers on the wall. I never once considered that, in fact, this administration would betray my identity as payback. Of the 30,000 additional troops sent here for the surge, more than 26,000 were deployed to secure Baghdad. When we were on the outskirts, we would drive in every day to conduct patrols. Now we're here permanently. We can walk. Who is the single most impressive person you've ever met? Uh, it would have to be Nelson. 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 It probably would be Ronald Reagan. Did the addition of 30,000 additional troops help the situation in Iraq? Katie, there is no doubt that uh, our troops helped to reduce violence. Are you worried you're going to have to pull your punches a bit? It's a different dynamic, isn't it? I don't know, is it? Hey, can I call you Joe? You can call okay, me. The United States is deeply unpopular in Pakistan. Do you think the Pakistani government is protecting al-Qaeda within its borders? I don't believe that new President Zadari has that mission at all. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. Just to say you're reading the tea leaves accurately now. <laughs> the haunting image of a young woman dying in the street has now been seen all over the world. You have consistently denied the Holocaust happened. These are dead bodies from a German concentration camp. Is this photo a lie? There are many historical events. Why is this one in particular so important to you? This is uh, Cactus 1539. We may end up in the Hudson. When did you realize the engines had failed? I knew immediately that it was very serious. 3,240. The number of days the war here has gone on. I'm pleased to nominate General David Petraeus. Are you disappointed things aren't as stable? And are you concerned they could unravel as combat forces lead the country? <laughs> Was it all over your face and it's healed? This is the corner where an SUV was parked full of explosives. Nearly every street is an obstacle course of debris and the dead. <laughs> breathe, 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 squeeze my hand. Why? 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 It's, it's inhumane. Like no person would actually keep their animals in this this state. Frantic preparations are underway for yet another attempt to stop this massive oil leak. It is like chocolate syrup, isn't it? It's so thick. They continue to pray for the wounded as doctors inside treat the victims, including Democratic Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. They've given us permission to take her down to the launch, so wow. we're excited about that. Yeah. I bet you so, are. Yeah. If President Mubarak thought last night's announcement was going to restore stability, apparently it's done quite the opposite. Now pro and anti-Mubarak demonstrators. A record earthquake in Japan triggers a mammoth tsunami. I can report to the American people, the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. Tonight, the man who ordered the attack that destroyed the towers is dead. A very modern wedding for a very modern couple. There are places I remember. Fabulous. <laughs> Sorry, 
is such a crush day. What a story. That was when you were living on the streets. How many people come up to you and ask you to say, go ahead, make my day? Quite a few. <laughs> Would you do it for me? Go ahead, make my day. Hello, how are you? And to all of you watching, thank you so much for coming along with me on this incredible journey. That's the CBS Evening News for tonight. I'm Katie Couric. Good night.